Let me introduce you all to the Ivana region, a brand new Pokemon Fakemon region set on savannas around the world. And if you think of savannas around the world, where do you instantly think of? For me, that is Africa. And of course, there are a lot of African references in this region, especially around the Pokemon and the trainers as well. Now, this region is created by Champion Moab, who you can find on Instagram. I'm going to link that info down in the description below as well for you to check that out. Now, this region has a lot of legendaries, mythicals, and ultra beast so make sure you hang around to the end of the video to see all of those as well but first let's choose our starter pokemon as we explore the Ivana region our grass type starter is Mamati, which is of course based off a mammoth, but also looks a lot like a forest elephant as well. And as you can see, this artist is also providing lots of extra images to our Pokemon as well to see what they're like in battle, like shooting the seeds out and tossing that stick as well. It evolves into Mamati, much more adult now. The bushiness has turned more to like a bit of a fur rather than so much like a, a bush or a moss. And then lastly evolves into Dust Mamot, which is now a grass and dark type. And I absolutely love this final evolution. Almost that thorny look on the massive tusk looks really really cool and as we can see signature move in the bottom right ivory whip and those tusks almost look like tentacles now they're able to be fluid and be able to move we can also see up here we have the shiny version for our pokemon as well fire starter is actually a fire and poison type right out the gate and that is now kexic and of course based off a cobra it's almost spitting that fire out which is very cool almost like a spitting cobra it evolves into lamb viper so getting a little more adult now and you can see it's got like a fire flame frill around its neck and on its head as well i also love the shiny for this line check out all these shinies. The last one is Flanaha. Again, looking like our Cobra, but a bit more detail in that scaling around the body, which is quite nice. But again, the flame around its neck on its head, much bigger now. And you can also see the tail, almost like a rattlesnake now. And then our water type is, of course, based on a hippo. And this is Potidro. It has got like almost like a bit of an ooze or snot. It's actually drool coming out of its nose and mouth. And the drool actually has healing properties. It evolves into Popper Flow, which is now a water and fairy type. That drool has become much, much bigger now. Almost makes like a beard around its face but he's constantly drooling and then its last evolution is hippopotam much much bigger now especially in the face there and just the overall size out of the starters i'm gonna have to choose the grass type starter i absolutely love this final evolution but let me know down in the comments which starter you're going to pick going into route one now and our route one bug is flupilla it's actually bug and fire type and it looks very fluffy but you can see there are little flames that come out around the neck the eyes and the head there it evolves into flamboon it still looks kind of fluffy but it obviously has that like cocoon kind of shape now less of a face but still has those flames that can come out and then lastly evolves into Firopa, which is a very interesting look for a bug you can see it's got a very pointed head and tail and it's got some spiky wings as well and you wouldn't think of route one bug pokemon is very strong but this bug pokemon is actually used by the champion of the region who uses a lot of bug type pokemon so i think that's really cool next we have our normal and flying type pokemon called nebatar it's a flying type but this isn't necessarily the route one bird of the region that's coming up next based off a bat and you can see it's made a mess all over itself like its mouth and its stomach and its wings it's got those yellow blotches everywhere and that's from all the nectar on the flowers that it eats and then it evolves into flobaton which is a poison and flying type and those yellow blotches have now become like a reddy kind of color and that's from the poisonous flowers that it actually consumes which gives it as poison typing and here is our root one bird for the region which is carablur normal and flying type it looks like it's based off a hawk or an eagle it evolves into caravan which is now a dark and flying type and then its final evolution is Cara bronze which is actually a dark and steel type now which i love having bronze in the name they're giving that metallic kind of look and vibe as well the edges of its wings are metallic and very sharp next is elocupine which is an electric and poison type pokemon obviously based on a porcupine there and you can see the spikes are very very yellow obviously gives it its electric typing next shabot is a pure ghost type pokemon and this looks very fuzzy but what it is it's actually a bottle that has been possessed so the ghost has gone with in the bottle to possess it. I kind of see it similar as like a Sinistee. I've got a teacup that's been possessed by a ghost. This is the same kind of deal. And then it evolves into Bottergeist. So obviously with that bottle in the name there as well, but a Poltergeist with the name as well. This has now become a ghost and dark type Pokemon, but again, looks very, very fuzzy. Next is Morali, which is a pure grass type Pokemon. And this looks a lot like those helicopter seeds that as they fall off the tree, they kind of spin around before they land on the ground. And then it evolves into Marilene, which is very humanoid. Now you can see it's got like a dress 
that it's wearing. You can still use that helicopter function on the petals on the top of its head there to attack. And it does have a third evolution, but it is a female only evolution. So if the pre-evolution is a male, it cannot evolve. But if it's female, it can evolve into Maru Mayam, which again looks very, very humanoid. Next, Dracomite is bug and ground type Pokemon. And it's based on a termite. It looks quite prickly, but it's got a very interesting jaw. It looks like a very heavy armored jaw that it's got there. And it evolves into Jackwadoza. That bottom jaw is massive now. I'm definitely getting Mad Max vibes from it. But you can see in the bottom right picture there that it's got like a filtering system of the ground or the sand that it's eating. But I think this looks fantastic. Droboil is next, which is a water type, but it's based on a boil, I guess, which I feel is kind of gross. But more so than a boil, it's also based on the weather. And we're going to see that as it evolves. Next is Cloud Wamba. So it's actually become a water and fire type now. And you can see it's definitely got a cloud kind of look. But the most interesting thing, I think, is as it evolves. Lastly, into Tempestzeal, another type change. It is now an electric and fire type. And as you can see, it definitely looks like it's based off a thundercloud. We can see the lightning look coming out there. And it definitely looks very angry and very aggressive. Next, Yokais is a flying and ghost type Pokemon. This one doesn't evolve. And it looks like it's based off a cloth or some kind of item of clothing that's been possessed. Next is Pokepook. And I love this. This is a ghost that has inhabited a Pokeball. And again, like our disguise Pokemon that try to disguise themselves as a Pokeball. So this is a ghost and steel type Pokemon. I love the little eyes coming out in the middle of the Pokeball. Ball. It evolves into Great Boot. And as you can see now, the Great Ball coloring rather than the Pokeball coloring has taken over and the spirit has become much larger now. It's definitely the main feature rather than the ball itself. And then its final evolution is now an Ultra Ball coloring with the yellow. It is Esperultra, so Ghost and Steel type Pokemon now. Looks giant. I absolutely love that. I'm definitely getting vibes of that guy from Big Hero 6. Just an absolute unit. Next is Glacemuel, which is a pure Ice type Pokemon. It just looks like a baby chick, but this does look like a bit of a chunky bird. You can see in that final picture, it is kind of like covering itself up. And Stalemer looks like it could be based on an emu or ostrich, those, you know, giant flightless birds with long legs. But I love like the icicles around its head and always like a bit of a beard as well. Next is Landlinch, which is based on a lynx or some kind of big cat. It is a normal and ground type Pokemon. I think this looks quite cute. You can definitely see very fuzzy and almost maybe like a dirt or a mud. It is a ground type. It evolves into Lincarid. So you can see again like an older now. And then its final evolution, Lincaus. As you can see, it kind of looks a bit more slim sleek and slender now. Not as fuzzy. It's definitely fuzzy on the paws and on the chest as well. But Linkouts is the female only version. The male version is Excalivids, which is now a dark and ground type. It's definitely got a big dark mane like a lion would, but definitely the male and the female lion there. Next, we have Crabberba, which is a pure ice type Pokemon based on like a hermit crab, but it does look kind of angry with its fuzzy eyebrows. Now, it doesn't evolve into this, but side Pokemon that we have kind of think of it as like your shield and your slowpoke. But this is Conchon, which is an ice and ghost type. And this is the shell part of the Pokemon. So those are two separate Pokemon. And they actually unite together as they evolve. Two Pokemon become one as it evolves into Eremolord. And I think that whole concept is very cool. You've got the crab, you've got the shell together. Hermit crab, Eremolord, ice and dark type Pokemon. And I think this looks really, really cool. Definitely looks very fuzzy with the white parts on it. But the pincers it's got are huge. And obviously it's got that giant, giant shell like a hermit crab would as well. Next is a wild boar based Pokemon. This is Argonic. So you can see it almost has like a wrestler kind of vibe, like a wrestler mask and like the red and the yellow together, kind of like a wrestler. It evolves into Argam, which is definitely more like a wrestler. Now I love, it looks like it's got a big hairy chest coming out of that outfit there. Next is Jowbloon, the steel and fairy type Pokemon. Doesn't evolve. I'm definitely getting sort of gimme ghoul vibes here, of course, with all those coins, but it opens up. It actually has like a little fairy that is inside. Next is Pludust, which is a normal and flying type Pokemon. And this looks kind of cute. I don't mind this. It does evolve into Swinegri, which is a ghost and flying type now. It doesn't really look like a ghost type. Very interesting. Almost looks like a peacock. Kind of looks a little bit like Pheasantipity, I think. Next side, Bolter. Definitely looks like a, a yak or a buffalo or something like that. Uh, it's electric and ground type Pokemon. They're charging into each other at the bottom there, creating electric sparks as they headbutt. Next is Baobor, which is actually based off the Baobab tree that you would see in Africa, which is those massive, really thick trees trees that are very, very huge. And I love this. This is a grass and water type Pokemon. It actually has a very kind nature to it. I can definitely see this being like the Chansey or the Odino of the region in your Pokemon senses, helping out Nurse Joy. Next, Wily Can is a pure dark type Pokemon. This is actually based on a wild dog. I do love the coloring and the pattern there. That looks quite nice. And then it evolves into Toxicaone, which is actually dark and poison type now. We can see the coloring has changed there to kind of give it like more of a, a poison kind of look on its body. Brumtree is a pure 
electric type Pokemon. It's based on a donkey, but I absolutely love the low battery form. It's changed from a blue to a red. I think that is just perfect. That is really, really cool. It evolves into Ferris Brum. It kind of has a bit of an Aztec kind of look to it. I think this pattern along the body, the head, the tail definitely gives Aztec kind of vibes. Blizzard is a rock and ice type Pokemon now, and this looks very cute. I do like this. I really like the eye. I think the eye makes it look quite adorable. It evolves into Gohair Rock, so you can see getting a bit bigger now, a bit more of an adult goat. The horns are getting a bit bigger. The tail's become quite big now. And then lastly evolves into Goraklizar, so rock and ice type looks amazing. I think this looks really cool. That whole pattern, the massive horns that it's got. Lizwarf is a dragon and ground type. Is this our first dragon type? I think it might be. It is based off a sand lizard. It has a massive tail there, which I absolutely love. And I do like that it kind of camouflages itself in the sand there. Evolves into Lizard Ross style, so getting much bigger now. That tail is still very, very long. And it's almost got like a, a jaguar kind of pattern design. And its feet are actually quite huge. I must use that for digging. That is, those are very, very big. And then last all evolves into Dwarakodeon. Quite spiky now. It's got spikes along its arms and on the end of its tail there as well. And then next is Shokoala, which is an electric type. And I'm an Aussie, so I absolutely love to see Australian-based Pokemon. We've got our Koala, and I think this looks very, very cool. He looks kind of angry, but we can see he's almost got like electric fists there. Evolves into Galvanaco, actually an electric and fighting type Pokemon now. Much, much bigger. This almost looks like a grizzly bear rather than a koala. Mostote is a normal and water type, and this is actually based on a giant otter. It doesn't really look like a water type with that coloring, but otters are definitely a water animal. It's got quite big whiskers coming off its face there. Those whiskers have gotten much bigger now. It almost looks like a giant mustache, but big bipedal mouse t -ron is a steel and water type now. And now we're going into some Avanon form Pokemon, starting off with Smoochum. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of Smoochum or Jinx, to be honest. But here's our Smoochum, and of course, we've got our Van and Jinx. And I was wrong earlier. Reading the description for Jinx, this is actually the Pokemon that helps out Nurse Joy. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think I want this helping me if I was in the Pokemon Center. I think Bayo Bear would have been a much nicer Pokemon to deal with. Our Van and Cottony next is a Grass and Rock type. This looks really cool. I'm kind of getting like a bit of a Cactus kind of vibe here. Of course, evolves into Whimsicott. The main thing being that massive puff of pollen or flower, whatever it is at the back of it, has now changed to red rather than white. Although the shiny version does have it white again, which is nice. Oh, our Ice type Hopip. Okay, this is kind of interesting. This is quite different. Obviously covered with snow now, but still keeps the Hopip expression. Our Ice, oh, Ice and Ground type Skiploon now. Okay, not bad, not bad. Definitely has like the ice on top and the ground on the bottom, it looks. And then our jump luff. This is kind of cute. I don't mind this at all. Read the description because of all the ice and ground that's covering it, it's not as floaty or as jumpy and can't be carried by the wind like jump luff normally would be, which is interesting. Our van and tangler is actually a grass and water type now. Okay. It almost looks like a puddle of seaweed or something, especially this picture here. Looks like it's been melted down. I love that the shiny is green though, like regular shiny tangler. Tangrowth next, of course. It does have a giant flower on the side, which I think is quite interesting. And its arms almost look like tentacles now, which kind of makes sense when it's a bit of a water type. A Van and Masquerain is a bug and ghost type. That's interesting. That face is a kind of interesting look. It almost looks like a beak or something like that. But the spectral elements coming out of the eyes of the wings is very nice. Oh, Cat Luffy is very cute. I do like my cat Pokemon. It's a pure normal type. And it's actually a baby form of Glamiao, which I think is very, very cute. We're going into a few baby Pokemon now. Now, baby nose pass is called Crim Pass. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of nose pass, but this little tuft of hair that it has is very, very cute. Gold toy ground and ghost type is our baby Galurk. That looks very cute. It's like a little wind up toy. That's cute. Zakof. Okay, so we've got our baby Farfetch. Oh, this is very cute as well. I'm loving these baby Pokemon. I definitely think we need more baby Pokemon in the world. And I love that it's got the leak still. Oh, okay. Not a baby anymore. War Ducks. We've got an evolution to Farfetch now. This is very cool. So that, like, frill or the plumage on the top of its head is quite interesting, quite large, and the leak has gotten bigger as well as it's evolved. Floramanda now is an evolution to Maractus. Kind of looks humanoid, I guess, but it looks like it's got a big dress on, but that's okay. Grass and fairy type. This looks quite nice. Again, obviously based on a cactus. An evolution to Cricketune is Cricestro. Oh, I like that. It has like the word maestro in its name. Kind of like a violin bow there. You can definitely see the bow on the end for both of its arms there. It's even playing music in the bottom here. An evolution to Love Disnex. This actually 
actually works like wishy-washy. So a bunch of love just coming together. Form to make sweet clutch, the water and fairy type. And this looks fantastic. I love the look of this. It's kind of like a seal merged with a mermaid, maybe. But you can see all these love discs together form the Pokemon. Ooh, and a Quagsire evolution, Siamander. That looks very cool. Water and dragon type is very interesting. The tail is massive. It has like big frills around it as well. But definitely has like those axolotl spiky parts on the face again, which Quagsire loses. It's kind of cool that that's come back. Stanler's evolution is Stanricool. Ooh, this is interesting. Normal and ghost type. I love the antlers have sort of come together. They've kind of merged together. Almost looks like a bit of a heart. This is the female only version of Tyro. Definitely looks a lot like a Tyro, but obviously our female version. And it looks like we have a new Hitmon, Hitmon Vic. Pure fighting type, of course. And obviously we have Hitmon Cham, which is a box. Hitmon Lee, which is kicking. Hitmon Vic is actually a mixed martial arts style. Or Senchub is very cute. This is actually a split evolution from a Sentret. Instead of going into Fire It, if you give it the particular berry, the Lutcher Berry, it evolves into Senchub, which is a pure fighting type. It definitely looks a bit more chubby or a bit more chunky. That tail is massively big, but it definitely looks like a bit of a fighter. It's got like that bandage look around the tail and the legs and the arms. And we're actually going into a few new evolutions now. I'm always a big fan of new evolutions. I would love it if the Pokemon games had some new evolutions. First is Lomion, which is a pure ground type Pokemon. And it definitely looks kind of dirty or kind of muddy. You can see on the tail, the ears, the feet. Definitely look very muddy. And down here as well, it's definitely got a big ground or sand attack going on. The other version is Locustion, which is a bug type. I think the idea of a bug evolution is fantastic. This looks really cool. It almost has like thorny twisted ears, thorny look around the feet as well. This stance here makes it look like a grasshopper or something. Next, Siscorp is a pure steel type Pokemon and it's like an armored steel version of a scorpion. It evolves into Excore Plier, which is actually the Plier's Pokemon. So combining metallic pliers with the scorpion as well. You can see it's bipedal now, but that's probably because its pincers are giant. And instead of a stinger on the back, it's got another set of claws. That's very cool. Now going into the fossil Pokemon, the first one is Devonine, the rock and water type Pokemon. Obviously based on a fish, as you can see, but it's got some very big scales of rocks all the way down its head and down its spine as well. And it evolves into giant toss. That fish is very, very rocky now. It's almost got like wings coming off the side of it based on rocks and a big rocky spine down its back as well. Definitely looks like a prehistoric fish. So this is really cool. The other fossil Pokemon is Volcadino. So it's definitely based on a dinosaur. Combining a volcano here as well. It's a rock and fire type, which works really well. But as you can see, the top of its head definitely is like an erupting volcano. But even on the tail, it's got like a mini volcano as well. And it evolves into Ruptio Rex. As you can see, much, much bigger now. I absolutely love this. I think this is my favorite fossil, although both of them are very, very cool. Looking at this bottom picture, you can see we've got three erupting volcanoes on its head and one on its tail as well. Next is Jewelfly, which is a bug and dragon type based on a dragonfly. This looks quite cute. I do like this one. It's very, very nice. And it evolves into Throttigon, so a bug and dragon type. This looks like a very big, aggressive kind of dragonfly now. We know the champion of our region uses bug type Pokemon. I think this is one he's definitely going to have to use as well. Next is the pseudo legendary for the region. It's a dragon and poison type called Blow. So of course, based on a Komodo dragon. It's definitely got like a toxic poison gas that it's blowing out of these little spikes along its head, tail, and on its arms here as well. As you can see, that gets a lot bigger now and kind of like a rocky look as it evolves into Como gas. You can see lots of poison gas coming out of its mouth and uh, from the spikes as well. And then lastly, evolves into Como death. Just the name of that, my God. Massive Komodo dragon. And as you can see, that blanket of poison gas coming from those spikes along the tail and the mouth there as well. Now, before we get into the legendaries, I want to show you the champion of the region, which is based on the artist Moab. He's a bug type trainer. I also want to show you the gimmick of the region. It's called Feral Form, which is a lot like Mega Form. Using something called the Key of Nature, you can turn a Pokemon into a Feral Form. And I'm going to show you all of these all at once. I'm going to go through it very quickly. But if you want more details for all of these, you got to check out Champion Moab on Instagram. You can get a lot more information about all the Pokemon in the decks. And he's done a fantastic job. And if you like this kind of video and you want to see more fake one regions, make sure you go down and you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And you can see a lot more Pokemon and fake one videos just like this. But I hope you like looking at the feral forms. Let's move on to the legendaries now. The first one is Su Chao, which is a psychic and ground type Pokemon. And it's based off an owl, probably a great horned owl. It's got like a massive cloak there, like the wings forming that cloak. It almost looks like it's got some kind of tribal mask on its face as well. The next is Muzuara, which is a ghost and water type. And it's based off a wolf. And you can definitely see those ghostly spiritual kind of elements, but it definitely has a lot of control 
control over the water as well. Next, Hurada, normal and fire type. And this is based on a great ape, maybe like a gorilla. You can see it summons fire or flames off its arms and around its feet. Almost has like a big white beard as well, which I think is quite nice. Next, Andrew says, which is a fire and ghost type. And I love the idea of having this combo here for a deer Pokemon. Those kind of spectral looks in the antlers is a really nice touch. I think that looks really, really cool. Pantheagle is an electric and dark type, the next legendary. This looks really cool, obviously based on an eagle, but its wings are massive. It's kind of spiky, kind of furry. And then next is Feriala, which actually has two forms. So the first one is its Seraph form, based off the rainbow serpent here, especially during its signature move, those rainbow lines, the rainbow circles around it. And definitely has a lot of clouds around its body as well. But its other form is a cherub form. This actually looks very, very cute. And you can see it's holding like a little orb as well. Next, going into the mythical Pokemon. So the first one is Tentiari, which is a fairy and bug type Pokemon. Looks like it's based off a ladybug. It's got those like big wings that come out from it as well. The next one definitely has a different kind of vibe. This is the AOA, which is a pure dark type Pokemon, probably based off the AOA, which is like a mythical creature. Very, very woolly on the back there, but definitely very spiky as well and has massive fangs on it. And the next mythical is Barry Caesar, which is a psychic and fire type. This one almost looks like some kind of angel, I think I'm getting the vibes from. It's definitely got some stars around here for the headband and the along the hair and the tail as well. And the next one is Oranokero, which is a pure poison type. This one looks like it's based off a frog, especially with the stance that it's got here, but it's definitely got some poison elements. Like it looks like it's breathing out some toxic fumes here. Next are the Ultra Beasts of the region. So the first one is Rotoglace, which is a poison ice type Pokemon. This looks a lot like an Orchid Mantis, especially in the coloring there, which is a really cool inspiration for a Pokemon design. Next is Ground Nurse, which is a fairy and ground type Pokemon. It kind of looks humanoid again, but this is one that actually helps the earth grow by fertilizing. As you can see, it looks very cute there with the Eevee in the bottom corner. Quartzoon looks very interesting. A Psychic and Rock type. It looks like it's got a big dress on, but it's obviously very rocky and very pointed and sharp. But what I really like is its face. It's like a crescent moon kind of forming its head there. Catathunde. Ooh, that's really cool too. Electric and Ghost. It looks like it's got massive lightning storms, electricity maybe, around its head. This definitely looks like it has some kind of influence over the weather. Look at those lightning bolts coming from it. Next, Hammer Turn is a fire and flying type. And this also kind of looks like a cloud. Looks like one of the genies almost. But this Pokemon can actually summon tornadoes made of flames. And Cursiro Bat is a psychic and dark type Pokemon. And this is very loosely based on a bat. You can see the shape of it is like a bat, but it's actually called the Cursed Mirror Pokemon because this head here and even on the wings are very reflective like a mirror. And this one actually evolves, which I think is very cool. So Sableye, still a psychic and dark type. That mirror is all cracked and broken now, which is a very different kind of look. And almost like the head shape kind of looks like some kind of like native headdress, which is quite interesting. And Kurigo is the next one, which is a steel and poison type. And I really like this sort of corroded, rusted kind of look on the anchor here. And you see we've got broken chains off here, which kind of form like arms as well. And the next one is Flamercoal, which is a grass and fire type. This is another one that can evolve. This looks like a giant pile of molten rock. You can see like the little fire flame elements coming through these cracks in the rock here. And it evolves into Thrasamond, rock and fire type now. So it's lost that grass element. We've got like some rocky gemstones here in the body. It doesn't look like it's all covered up now. Now it looks like it's expanded. And then our last mythical is Nezen Chao, which is a normal and psychic type. I really like this one. It looks really nice. It almost looks like a little monkey, but it's got a giant tail. But I absolutely love the pattern and the design and the coloring along this entire Pokemon. What an amazing region. I'm going to say my favorites were Dustmamot, the grass starter, Jackwadoza, Suiclust, and Nazuncha, the mythical Pokemon. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorites were. And also, guys, make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this and check out my other Fakemon videos as well. Thanks.